CB Gavel. Did Dutch ever get to wrestle Demolition Axe and Smash either as a tag team or single matches? Any Barry Darso or Bill E.D. or any favorite stories about them? Well, <clears throat> I remember E.D. years and years and years ago. He wasn't Bill E.D. He was one of the Mongols. And in answer to your question, no, I never wrestled them in, in single matches. We were always like we were on the same side. But Bill Eady was with one of the Mongols, and that was one of my not the greatest tag team that I'd ever seen, like the Assassins or Midnight Express. But they were an unusual, noticeable tag team. Because when these guys got in the ring, you'd pay attention to them. Because that, that Bill Eady, a pretty big guy. And his partner wasn't such a big guy, but and they had the bald head with that little splash of hair coming out the back. They were different. And in being different, and like you got to keep in mind, I saw them in Georgia right when I started. You know, in those little towns in Georgia, and it's like little towns everywhere, but you don't have people come to your town like that often <laughs> that look like that. But they come to your town and you're thinking, if I'm a fan, I'm thinking, wow, where in the hell did they find these guys? Because it makes it it it, it really makes wrestling fun. And when they walk out there, they're big, they're huge, they're hulking. And I'm, I'm I may have said this before, but these these earlier heels, they're not like heels today. Heels today weigh 190 pounds. You know, they can get heat, but it's got to be with their, not with their size. They got to get it with their mouth, but easier to get it with your size than it is your mouth because the size speaks for itself. If you got to do it by mouth, now you got to, you got to actually work at it. But these little people in the little towns would sit back and look at these guys and say, dang, he's the biggest son I've ever seen in my life. Now they've seen big people, I'm sure. But these guys going to ring, I mean, I mean, jacked up and you didn't want to mess with them. They they look tough. They didn't have trouble going to the ring or back from the ring because people were afraid of them. Me, on the other hand, they could take a little shot, a few shots at me because they, they didn't think I was too tough. But but I did meet Bill Eady and a very smart man. Uh, and uh, he, he after I got to know him just a little bit, uh, he played football in college. I think a little pro ball. And so when somebody tells you this and you think, well, how in the hell did you ease your way toward pro wrestling? And he told me he's, he always liked it. And people used to tell him, Hey, you look like a wrestler. And he said, I thought I'd try it. And I forgot how he got in, but he got in through, I think the other, the lead leader of the, the Mongols, I think Is that was Gito. Gito. And what was his name? Uh, uh Oh, give us one second. Yeah, his uh, yeah, Russian Newton, Russian name. Uh, the Canadian Newton Tatry. Or are you yeah, talking Nikolai Nikolai Volkov? No, Volkov was, and I remember him when he was a, a Mongol too. And then Edie came in later. So, pretty good little franchise, and they did well in Georgia. And I don't know. I guess I think they went to WWWF later on. And they did well. They did good there because they would fit the WWWF more than they would fit a, a promotion in the South. Because I think people would buy them. Well, they, they buy them everywhere, but they, they really would fit in New York with all the talent they had. 